फ्रेंड्स दिस इज आदित्य मोहिते एंड यू आर वाचिंग एग्री बायोटेक फ्रेंड्स मी एंड माय टीम बैक विद द वन मोर न्यू वीडियो फ्रॉम सेल बायोलॉजी टुडे इन दिस वीडियो यू विल सी द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेल कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ सेल एंड इट्स टाइप्स दैट इज प्रोकैरियोटिक एंड यूकैरियोटिक सेल सो वॉच द कंप्लीट वीडियो एंड शेयर इट एज मच एज पॉसिबल सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड फॉलो अस ऑन Instagram एंड Facebook यू कैन ऑल्सो बाय द पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ दिस वीडियो बाय कॉन्टैक्टिंग अस ऑन ईमेल agribiotech3@gmail.com so friends let's start i aditya moite once again welcome you all on your favorite channel agribiotech so in this video first see what is cell so the cell is defined as the smallest basic unit of life that is responsible for all of our life processes it can replicate itself independently all the life on this earth is made up of single to many cells they are of different shapes and sizes pretty much like bricks of the building our body is made up of cells of different shapes and sizes and cells are known as the building blocks of life cells comprise several cell organelles that performs the specialized function to carry out life processes Every organelle has a specific structure. The hereditary material of the organism is also present in the cell. Now have a look on discovery of cell. Robert Hooke was the first biologist who discovered cell in the year 1665. Robert Hooke observed a piece of bottle cork under the microscope and noticed structure that looks like a small room. and he named these rooms as a cells however his microscope has limited magnification and hence he could not see any detail in the structure because of this limitation who concluded that these were non living entities later anton van leeuwenhoek a dutch businessman pursued a microscopy and reported that the other type of cells such as human sperm bacteria red blood cells etc this time he had noticed that the cells exhibit some form of movement as a result leeuwenhoek concluded that these microscopic entities were alive now let's see characteristics of cell the first characteristic of cell is that it provides structure and support to the body of an organism second The cell interior is organized into different individual organelles surrounded by a separate membrane. The nucleus, a major organelle of the cell, holds the genetic information necessary for reproduction and cell growth. Each cell is filled with the semi-fluid substance called cytoplasm. The nucleus and the other membrane-bound organelle present in it. Mitochondria, a double membrane-bound organelle is mainly responsible for the energy transaction cellular lysosomes contain digestive enzyme that breaks down waste material foreign material and cellular debris lysosomes also digest the nucleic acid polysaccharides fats and proteins along with them lysosomes also digest or damage its own cell by its own enzymes which leads to the cell death this process is called as autolysis hence lysosomes are also called as suicide bags of the cells endoplasmic reticulum or ear of the cell plays a significant role in the internal organization of the cell by synthesizing selective molecule and processing directing and sorting them to their appropriate locations this was all about characteristics of cell now let's proceed to what types of cell Based on cellular structure, cell can be classified into following two types. First is prokaryotic cell, and second is eukaryotic cell. So first, see prokaryotic cell. The prokaryotic cell are represented by bacteria, blue-green algae, mycoplasma, and PPLO. Prokaryotic cell don't have a well-defined nucleus. Instead, some prokaryotes such as bacteria have a region within the cell. where the genetic material is freely suspended this region is called as nucleoid they are generally smaller and multiply more rapidly than the eukaryotic cell 
they may vary greatly in shapes and size. The cell size of prokaryotic cell ranges from 0.1 to 0.5 micrometer in diameter. All prokaryotes have a cell wall surrounded the cell membrane except in mycoplasma. The fluid matrix filling the cell is the cytoplasm. There is no well defined nucleus. The genetic material is basically naked not enveloped by the nuclear membrane. The hereditary material can either be DNA or RNA. Prokaryote shows the reproduction by binary fusion. Now let's see eukaryotic cell. The eukaryotes includes all the protists, plants, animal and fungi. Eukaryotic cells possess the organized nucleus with the nuclear envelope. Their genetic material is organized into chromosomes. The cell size ranges between 10 to 100 micrometer in diameter. The plasma membrane is responsible for monitoring the transport of nutrient and electrolytes in and out of the cell. It is also responsible for cell to cell communication. They reproduce sexually as well as asexually. There are some contrasting features between plant and animal cells. For example, the plant cell contains chloroplast, central vacuoles, and other plastids, where the animal cell does not. That's it from us in today's edition of this video. We will come back soon with the one more new video, so stay with us. Subscribe this channel and share this video as much as possible. I am Aditya Moite signing off and leaving you here to watch the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell. You can also follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. If you have any doubts and suggestions, you can write us in comment box. We are always here to help you. Thanks for your valuable time. Jai Hind.